Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goth House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today is my Friday what's up? Weekly what's up? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Um, I just wanted to A, um, talk a little bit about what I did this week and um, about canning projects. You know, I, uh, if you saw my video, I, I bought 80 pounds of chicken. <clears throat> And I have been running my canner nonstop, ugly chicken. I have one more canner load and all 80 pounds is done. And I picked that up on Sunday, so I've been running about a canner load a day. So I got quite a bit of chicken, plus I made a chicken sausage video. If you didn't see that one, it was a couple days ago, and you got to try that one. That chicken sausage is the best. I didn't get a chance to can my... Um, beef pot pie filling yet because I've been so busy canning chicken. I did when I said I was going to do that, I already had the beef, but it was frozen. And then when I picked the chicken up, it was not frozen. It was fresh. So I wanted to make sure I got all my chicken in the jars and at least um, 20 pounds of the pork butt that I got. So I'm trying to can that up. So as soon as I'm done with that, then I will be canning the um, beef pot pie filling. But the main thing I wanted to follow up with you about is the purr jars. So I have canned, these aren't even washed yet, um, this the ugly chicken. I've been using these purr jars. Now I'm getting mixed comments. You know, some people are saying they'll, they'll never use anything from China. Fine, fine, but you better check your house because <laughs> there's a lot of things made in China. But I wanted to follow up and I did use these. I bought them before I realized that they were made in China. When I flipped the box over, then I realized it. Fine, I already bought them, so I did use them. But you know what? I went and got lead tests because people were worried that there is lead in here. So I haven't tested it yet. I don't know and I'm, we're gonna find out right now. So according to the directions, <laughs> it says, Squeeze and crush points A and B. Squeeze and crush A and B, okay. Of the barrel of the swab. Shake and squeeze with the swab tip facing down, okay. Okay. Break, break. Sorry, I didn't break it up here. Um, squeeze and oh oh I got uh, uh, I got it got it got it okay so the stuff is coming down this has already been washed it's been heated twice now this is one that I canned chicken in and I already used it in an ugly chicken video so inside the jar we are going to swab 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 Swabbing, swabbing. If this turns pink or red, it is emitting lead. Hope you guys can see. And I'm supposed to swab this for 30 seconds. Anyway, so there you go. I'm giving you probably longer than 30 seconds. Okay. Yellow. No red, no pink, no lead. This has also an extra second lead check. Okay, if this says, this says if this turns red, if this turns red or pink, I'm sorry, if the red or pink appears in the dot on the swab, the test was done properly. If no color appears, the test is invalid. So there you go. Yellow, this is yellow. Well, it's red now from this, but this shows no lead. No lead in the jars, folks. So again, I am not 
trying to convince you to go out and buy this brand. I don't care what you can in. Feel free to can in anything you want. I don't care. I don't make any money from Jar Company. I'm just telling you, there's no lead in these. I purchased these. I'm going to continue using them. I think they worked great and it's, I started using them um, Monday. None of my seals broke. Um, I think I had people say that some of their seals were breaking after a couple days. No broken seals, no buckling of lids. I used one or two of the pure lids. I gotta wash my hands. I got that stuff on it. Okay, so there you go. No lid in the jars. Um, so I will probably buy more and I'm going to go ahead and continue using these. You make the choice what's best for you in your household. <laughs> Here is the chicken that I did this week. I still do have one more canner load. It is a Friday, so I've got one canner load left and 80 pounds of chicken will be done. So this 80 pounds of chicken went into here, but I did use about six, six to seven pounds to make sausage. And then um, I did make dinner out of a couple chicken breast so this isn't quite the 80 pounds let's call it 70 and these are all I just wanted to update these are all the per jars and um, these right here I did Monday and they're all still sealed I did have people say that some of theirs popped after two days I've got nothing I had no fails no um, no seals popping after sitting here so uh, everything looks good and I am going to keep them here just for a few more days to keep an eye on them. I want them here for a full week to make sure no seals are going to pop. Um, most of them are cur lids and I think I had someone else say that the ball and cur lids don't match up to the lids. They do. They match up just fine. Um, just like the ball jars. They are the same size. No issues. And I did, here's the one I did with a purlid. And the purlid, oop, can't see. The purlid also sealed just fine. I don't know about um, BPA being in the purlid. I haven't heard anything. I can't find anything on it. So I didn't use a lot of purlids because I don't know about the BPA. Um, there isn't BPA in current ball, so... There you go. But otherwise, they are all still sealed. Looking fine. I'll keep my eye on them. Any updates, if any of them pop, I'll let you know. But for now, everything's fine. I seriously really like the jars. And one last update for you. Sorry, my table's a mess. I have all kinds of stuff sitting here. I have a new kitchen faucet. I am so excited. So my kitchen faucet, when we remodeled this house, we put that one in. I believe it's a Kohler. And it broke after two weeks. So here is my new one. I am super excited. I can't wait. So the guys are going to put it in tonight. So next week when I update you, I'll show you my new faucet or maybe through another video. Who knows? Okay, so next week I will finally get around to canning my beef pot pie filling. <laughs> um, I do have to can more. I'm going to can more spicy pork in, I'm sorry, roast pork in spicy broth because that's my favorite, so, and I did grab those couple pork butts, so I'm going to can more of that, and I'm going to go ahead and can Lisa's uh, Mississippi pork roast. I think she did a great job, and I'm totally going to can that. I did make some um, two weeks ago, and it was so good. I like it more than the beef, the, uh, the beef Mississippi roast, so I am going to follow Lisa's lead, and I'm going to go ahead and can up some Mississippi roast also. I probably won't do a video on it. I'm just going to can it. Um, also, there's a couple other canning projects I want to do. There's not enough hours in the day or days in the week. <laughs> okay, garden update wise. The tomatoes are doing okay. I didn't realize he planted a bunch of cherry tomatoes. So the only thing I can do with those is wash them, toss them in the freezer, and wait until I get enough unless we eat them fresh. <laughs> But the tomato plants seem to be doing okay. We did plant more. So those little ones are tomatoes. Ooh, a couple of them don't look very good. They just got transplanted, so they'll probably bounce back. But, uh, tomatoes seem pretty hardy. I do have to get these covered, though. It is now in the 90s. So I got to get the shade going on this weekend. And then these are the zucchini plants. They're doing pretty darn good. And the bed over there, I actually, my daughter cleared it out. 
uh, tilled it and right not where the little pepper plants are but the other side of that and um, fertilized it so I now I'm going to wait for more summer planting <laughs> see what I should put in there nothing in that box grew that I planted so anyway hopefully now that the soil is a little bit better and the corn over here is doing pretty well my little fig tree is growing it looks so good okay so i think that, that that is about all the updates i have for you i just mainly wanted to do a part two to the uh pure jars per jars <laughs> i have been looking around too um online i i checked for hours the other day any information about the pur jars and i really couldn't find much um so i just did the lead test on my own if you want to pit if you want to lead test them before you you, you definitely want to do what makes you comfortable so if it makes you uncomfortable canning in jars made from china don't can in them but for the price i i think they're pretty good priced and i, I actually really like the jar so i will pick more up and i will can in them again also, I want to, um, oh, another update. <laughs> I almost forgot too. And this is one of the bigger things that I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to let you know, I did an herbal, not an herbal, it was more like a spice video explaining the importance of spices and the things that they do and what they help with. So I think we're going to do Saturday morning tea with Jenny's. Um, and then I'll pick a tea and we'll discuss the importance of the herbs and how to make it and things like that. So anyway, so I hope that you all will like that series um, and I hope it helps. I hope if any of you, if you watch those videos and you find something that helps you, I'll be happy. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. And I will see y'all tomorrow for a Saturday morning tea with Jenny. There you go. Ball per per ball. You, you know, we do both. Filming. I know. Oh. They love me. You know I'm cutting all that out. I know you do.